What's up, everybody? I'm Preposterous Miss Bradley, and welcome to my very first uh, tutorial. Today, I will be going over how personally I animate in Adobe Photoshop, or how I make my animatics in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, first to disclaimer, this is not a Photoshop tutorial. This is not um, where you're going to find any fast information at all. I'm really sorry about that, uh, but if you're looking for a fast solution to something, it's not going to be here, even if you watch double time. Sorry. Uh, second disclaimer is um, just don't use Photoshop to animate. It's not that easy, uh, especially like if you're doing frame by frame animation. Um, I would actually, if you want to do frame by frame animation, I actually recommend OpenTunes up here. It's absolutely free. It's open source and it's a uh, professional grade. It's what Studio Ghibli use used or uses i'm not sure but they decided to make that public for everyone to use for free i have used toon boom harmony in the past that's what i did my uh adventures of pagey and pavilion but that was a couple of years ago and i haven't been able to actually afford it since so i can't actually open this program <laughs> so my first step when i'm doing an animatic is i find some sort of audio that inspires me usually that's a song I have a whole list of songs that I want to animate to like my very most popular video is white diamond singing uh, Hamilton I also really like the very first one that I uploaded it's uh, a clip from mystery science theater 3000 and I was watching that clip and I was like man I love this clip I want to do something with it wouldn't it be funny if this was lapis and peridot singing to Greg and so that's where that one came from in this case I was watching, here we go, the public transit video by Ice Cream Sandwich. This guy, go subscribe to him. He's hilarious. Here's the audio clip I'm talking about. Remember, I'm shy. I don't confront my problems. I just deal with it. Experiencing some concerning emotions? Bottle it up. That's not going to be a problem later. Put that on the shelf. Problem solved. I was. <laughs> so I um, found that and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do Steven to that. So I got that uh, animation, I downloaded it, and I edited it down to just that nine second clip. Uh, so you can see it here. And and next thing, first of all, uh, very first step, find a way to organize your files. Um, I have a very different file setup. Um, so right now I'm in my art folder. For all of these things, I go, I put them in what I call work projects. So I've got all sorts of different work, work projects like I considered um, March's Honest was work. For this one, it's animations. So I decided to call this folder uh, CV Universe Bottle It Up because I'm creative like that. <laughs> you gotta come up with your own naming convention. What was taught to me back in my first year of college was to do lower cases. So category is Steven Universe underscore title underscore audio. That's how I sort of organize my own files. It's so very important to keep your files organized because if you're like me, here, let's go just to my pictures and my general pictures and stuff and everything is just like unorganized. There's like a little bit of organization there, but it's just, it's a nightmare and I can never find anything. So I don't like being in there. So finally, we're getting onto the actual Photoshop part of the tutorial. So you go into uh, Photoshop and you create new. So for my animations, I do 1920 by 1080 at 72 pixels. For my illustrations, I always do um, 300 pixels per inch, but I find that it's just fine resolution. It's perfect for, um, for what it is for video to be 72 pixels per inch. So I hit create and I've already got my uh, timeline open here. It's really huge and in the way. And uh, the way you find that though is under window and timeline. So I will create a video timeline here for, uh, you can do frame animation, but I do a uh, video timeline. So create video timeline and it comes up here. See, here's layer zero. And over in the layers panel, panel, it's layer zero. And that'll be, I'm gonna rename that to background. So I say that you can do this, uh, you can create animatics in any program because you, uh, because you can, it's just gonna be a lot harder. This is all an integrated system. The layers here, and you'll get layers in just about any drawing program, except for, I guess, paint. So when you add a layer, so there's layer one, and here's backgrounds, so that's uh, one frame. 
layer is another frame. And so, sorry, you can boop, move that. And so there's your background one, and then there's frame one. Uh, and so what you could do theoretically in like say Krita, if you're looking for a free drawing program, I really liked Krita, uh, K-R-I-T-A. That one was free, as, and I think it's still free. Um, also, Psy, I think, it's not very expensive. But so what you could theoretically do in uh, another uh, drawing program is say I don't have the timeline and I just have Photoshop. So I could have a, always have a background thing, right? And so say I've got this guy here. Oh, this is the background. So let's draw really quick a really little background. Whoop, this is what trees look like, probably. Boop, 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 tree. There's a house because I'm very creative. One, two, three, blop, blop. One, two, three, blop, blop. Here's a sun. Whoa, background. Let's do better sun, sorry. Even though it's really trash. Okay, but so let's say layer one. Um, let's change colors. So you've got your background layer here. Do I not? Oh, geez, sorry. This is being a butthead. So this would be your background. Okay, now I can close this. Ignore that for if you're not working in Photoshop. If you're using a different program like Krita. Let me turn my phone back on. Here, there's, there's a little guy right here. I am so great at drawing stick figures, guys. Hi, he's so happy. Uh, then you can do, say, layer two. You can, uh, so you'd be able to save this as like a JPEG or a PNG and put it in a folder and call it frame one. And then if you wanted to make frame two, you would keep the background and then you would just draw the same guy, you know, he would, he's less happy now because, wow, we're not going to do that game. There. See? You'd save that as a single file layer, and then you could take it into, I don't know what kind of programs there are, but you could like make that into a GIF or uh, like Movie Maker or something like that. What? <laughs> How old am I? I was like, you could put that into Windows Movie Maker. Is that even a thing anymore? Sorry, guys. Anyway, that's one way you could do it if you don't have Photoshop and you don't have the timeline option down here. Okay, let's go back to, let's do pink. I don't know what kind of background I'm going to be working on right now, um, but I'm going to use this opportunity to lay down a palette because I work in 50%. Ah! There we go. I, I work in 50% uh, opacity most of the time because it layers up and you get starker. So like if I'm trying to draw this guy uh, and I can do kind of sketchy lines and make something a little bit darker for emphasis so I know like what to go back and ah sorry <laughs> this is a this is a anyway sorry so we'll save this as su bottle it up animation save and that's just a generic photoshop file because photoshop supports the the timeline feature okay so that's a really long introduction to get to the point of actually animating. Um, and we're actually not there yet. Hold up. Audio track. A little carrot next to the musical notes. Add audio. And I will get that audio that I edited earlier and drop it in there. And so that's about nine seconds long. So I can make this background about nine seconds long. Some concerning emotions. Bop. Uh, see, that's there now and I can zoom in with this feature down here so I can get a better look at what's going on so yeah layer one frame one okay so I'm drawing a uh, big Steven I'm gonna take this uh, reference image and throw it in there oops that accidentally made layer one teen Steven but that's okay okay so I'm gonna keep that down at the bottom so he's always kind of there to be able to reference make him smaller it's because i forget how to draw things it's not like i've watched thousands of hours of steven universe and should absolutely know how to draw him but here we are okay so i start out with frame one uh but i gotta listen to the the audio to see what it what i'm going for i don't confront my problems i just deal with it Exp 
Okay, I don't confront my problems. I just deal with it. So I'm gonna draw Steven right here. He is gonna be really cute because he's Steven. You get to see me draw. Uh, maybe I'll try and speed stuff up a little bit. Steven? I don't think I've drawn Steven with a neck yet. Oh, this is this is the first time I think I've drawn Steven with a neck. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this is the start of a new era. It's, it's starting to look a lot like Steven everywhere I draw. So I'm not going to make this um, a perfect frame right now. I'm just going to try and lay down all of the keyframes key here. But give myself something good enough to build off of. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of copy-paste. So that's what a lot of this video is. Or a lot of these animations are. is a lot of copy-pasting. A lot of duplicating layers. So now when I've got that, what makes the it really nice having the timeline in Photoshop is that I can decide the length of my frames. Uh, this one I kind of want to end right here. I don't confront my prop. From my, my okay, I want to make that a little shorter. I don't confront my problem. So I duplicate that layer, and uh, because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy that. I'm gonna whoop. We're gonna. This is the pivot point. I'm gonna put the pivot point down here, and kind of pivot him forward at the same time as knocking him down a little bit. Let's see. I from my problems. Okay. And then I wanna like. I'm gonna clean up his hair a little bit. I kind of regret not doing that before I made a new layer, but we're just blocking everything in. I don't confront my problems. I'm Steven Universe. I don't have problems. I don't confront my problems. Oh man, that looks way more sarcastic than I meant it to. So I don't confront my, my problems. problems. I just deal with it. I just deal with it. Okay. Uh, another layer, I just, and then deal with it. Those will be two more layers. It's okay if you don't draw something correct on the first time, uh, at least in Photoshop. And I'm, I do remember you can transform stuff in other programs too. Um, you can always erase, transform, move stuff around. That's, it's so nice sometimes to be able to work in, um, digital even though it is a, there's a whole lot of challenges that come with drawing in digital it's really nice that you can just copy paste delete whatever uh, let's actually put that forward because that's kind of where I want to go with this See, let's just create a new layer. Let's just duplicate that layer because like that's the base that I'm going for, but I really like this face. I really hate drawing hands in this pose. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my other videos saying that I'm excellent at drawing hands. Hands are really hard to draw. And as much as I've been drawing them for years and I have leveled up many times getting good at them, I still feel like I can't draw hands. Okay, so let's see, let's time this I out. don't confront my problems. I just deal. Okay, where is deal with it? Just so I can move that there. I just deal with it. <laughs> I, I don't like confront this. my problems. I just deal with it. I just deal with it. I think I'm funny, right? Actually, you know what? I can delete this one. Uh, but we can also copy it because this one has this layer had more of what I wanted drawn. Oh, he's so cute! Bam! <laughs> Just deal with it. Okay, so like, what's the joke that I'm looking for right here? Uh, Experiencing some concerning emotions? Bottle it up. That bottle it up. 
So what would be a really funny visual joke right here? Because so far, Steven's just talking. But what I was thinking is a really fun visual gag right here. Uh, I started off thinking, um, I really should have like thought of this a little bit more when I started. But I started this off kind of thinking like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if he was just talking to like the gems or something? And so one option I could do is like have him, you know, talking to the gems and like insert right here, like a reaction shot of the gems, like looking at him, like kind of like look looking concerned, like shifty eyes and like, what's he talking about? And then here, you know, but like, since I've just did this, maybe I want to animate it sort of like a, a story time animator. Instead of dealing with different characters in this scene, or and oh, because I want to keep it simple because I want it to be a tutorial. So I think what would be a really funny visual storytelling uh, element right here, let's see, would be to have him like a carnival barker or something like, you know, trying to solve your problem with snake oil. Maybe I won't go on with this idea because uh, I don't think it'll go really well with the follow through of the joke. No, I don't think I like this one, so I'm just going to delete that, even though it was cute. Um, I want to keep it more cohesive, I guess. Oh, okay, I kind of have an idea. Um, let's put some of his traumas right here in the back. That'll be fun, adding, like, Jasper and Rose and Pink and the diamonds. Okay. Experiencing some concerning emotions, Bob. Yeah, that's fast enough that I don't have to worry uh, about like drawing something and it not even being noticed. Okay, so I will do that, and I will get back to you guys once that is all drawn. Okay, so sorry, really quick. Um, I was gonna get up and take a break, and then I was just kind of like looking at stuff and trying to like rename stuff, and I got a sudden hit of inspiration, understanding where I was suddenly gonna go. And so I was like, I started writing down like renaming everything and uh, timing again, and I was like, oh, I have to get this out right now. So I was like, okay, instead of like, you know, coming back to it, I'll just draw it really quick uh, and let you guys see. It's, we're gonna really quickly time this out because like I actually know where I'm going with this. If I don't know where I'm going, I'll just kind of like draw like up here. But now like I know where I'm going, so I wanna time it out, get everything out while I'm still thinking about it. Bottle it up. That's not gonna be a problem later. Hi, I love it. Okay. That's not gonna be a problem later. from my problems. I just deal with it. Experiencing some concerning emotions? Bottle it up. That's not gonna be a problem later. Put that on the shelf. Problem solved. I don't confront my problems. I just deal with it. Experiencing some concerning emotions? Bottle it up. That's not gonna be a problem later. Put that on the shelf. Problem solved. 